Two storms separated by 25 years. A woman murdered, a daughter missed, only 72 hours to discover the truth. Welcome back to Flix and Shows and today we'll be breaking down Mirage. If you dig crazy movies that just unhinge your head completely, then dang, Mirage is your movie. There's a dash of time travel, a dash of multiverse string theory and there are all kinds of mind job goodness in this movie. Subscribe to our channel and let us know your valuable thoughts in the comment section. The premise of the film is pretty apparent, the butterfly effect, which means if you make one small change to an event in the past, it cascades into a substantial turn of events in the future. Mirage has totally three timelines created because of conversations between a person in the future and the past. The Mirage movie begins in timeline 1 in 1989 which follows a young boy by the name Nico. On a stormy night, Nico's video recording is interrupted by noises from the house across the road. Nico crosses over to go investigate and see Miss Ways lying dead. He sees Angel with a bloody knife and makes a run for it, and gets killed by a speeding car. Angel is arrested and he confesses to the murder and states that he was planning to bury his wife under his butcher house. Later, Clara's son and a close friend of Nico grows up with his mother, who has been living with the guilt of murder. Years later, Ata happens to meet Vera on a train, and one day she loses her balance and falls on Ata. The two become friends and eventually Ata introduces Vera to his buddy David and the two fall in love and get married. David leaves his girlfriend to be with Vera and Vera quits her preparation to become a neurosurgeon when she gives birth to their child, Gloria. Years pass. In 2014, Vera, David and Gloria move into the house Nico once lived. Another electrical storm identical to 1989 ensues. Vera and David find Nico's old TV and camera and plug it in to view the recordings. Later at dinner, Ada states that the kid in the video was his old friend Nico, who was killed by a passing car. In the night, Vera notices that the television is on. The electrical storm has somehow connected the TV from 1989 to 2014. Vera converses with Nico, realizing that he is moments from his death. She tries to stop Nico from going outside. Vera delays Nico from crossing over to the neighbor's place, and the car that would have killed him passes by harmlessly. This communication creates a new timeline. Once inside the house, Nico hides under a bed and watches Angel chop up and live with Whis in a suitcase. He also finds Clara's watch and takes it with him. Nico informs his mother and then the cops, but he's a young kid and along with the murder, he mentions the woman from the future on the TV warning him. The police obviously assume that Nico is making up the story to cover up his breaking in and stealing Angel's watch. Over time, Nico realizes that the only way he can lead a regular life is if he tells the world that the lady from the TV was a lie. Angel, Clara and Ada move in together. When Nico had talked to Vera over the television, he had noticed a railway station boat that Vera claims to have stolen. Over the years, Nico visits from the station hoping that one day he will run into Vera again. And finally, one day he does. Nico enters the train to sit across Vera, instead of Aether. When Vera loses her balance, she falls on Nico and not Aether. Nico and Vera fall in love, and two get married. They don't have a child, so Vera goes on to become a neurosurgeon. In Timeline 2, Vera doesn't meet David until he lands up as a patient who she operates on. She shares no relationship with David, who is married to his girlfriend.
Eventually, in 2014, the electrical storm reappears and something bizarre happens. The consciousness of Vera from Timeline 1 gets written onto Vera from Timeline 2. Overnight, Vera forgets Nico and instead has memories of David and Gloria. She believes she is a nurse and not a doctor. When she goes to the school looking for Gloria, none of the teachers recognize her. Nico aids Vera by taking on the case of her missing child. He understands quite well that she's forgotten her current life because of the storm and the timeline disruption. Vera reaches out to Ato, but he doesn't believe her because they have never met in Timeline 2. Vera notices that Angel is not convicted in Timeline 2, but she remembers his confession from Timeline 1. She tells Nico about the location onto the butcher house and the authorities dig up a suitcase with cut up human bones. Nico sends Vera to a hotel room where she finds out that David is cheating on his wife with one of the nurses. Nico does this to let Vera know that the man she got married to in Timeline 1 wouldn't have been true to her. Angel and Clara are taken in for questioning where Nico reveals that he was the kid who once testified against Angel. Once the test on the bonds came back, he will have the proof to lock Angel and Clara away. Nico meets Vera and explains what has happened in Timeline 2 and that it is just a matter of time when Vera will remember everything and they could go back to their lives as husband and wife. Though Vera doesn't care for David anymore, she still can't let go of Gloria's memories. Vera asks Nico to reach out to his past and create a new path where he doesn't grow up with an obsession for her. After this, she commits suicide by falling off the balcony. When the storm ends, Nico is forced to set up the TV and talk to himself from 1989. We are in Sean the conversation between the Nikos but he gives himself enough instruction so that he never runs into Vera. In this new Timeline 3, Nico grows old to be an inspector just like Timeline 2. Vera has not yet met Nico and she's married to David and their child Gloria exists. While Vera thinks she is back in Timeline 1, this is soon proven wrong because Angel is not in prison but is living with Clara and Ato. Timeline 3 is a mix of Timeline 1 and Timeline 2. Vera also confirms that David has been sleeping with the nurse in this new timeline. She now has the combined memories of both Timeline 1 and 2. Before her memory dissolves away, Vera quickly informs the authorities about the body under the butcher house. Understandably, Nico takes an interest in the case and arrives at the location and meets Vera. Though not recognizing her initially, Nico smiles at Vera as he realizes that she is the woman from his television in 1989. We can assume that the two of them get together, and Angel is sent to jail. The potential explanation for this lies in Vera's pursuit of and realization of her medical dreams. She was also on the track in the original timeline before she chose motherhood. Clara Medina has been having an affair with Angel Prietro. When Angel's wife Wies walks in on them, it leads to a hustle and Clara stops Wies by mistake. This information is only revealed in the film towards the end and we are misled to believe that Angel is the murderer. Clara's brother is informed and he plans to send Clara to Germany, where Wies is from, and have her operate on Wies' bank accounts. While Angel, a butcher by profession, would chop up Wies, put her in a suitcase and bury her under his butcher house. The story to the world would be that Wies left Angel and went back to her ex-boyfriend in Germany, but this plan is disrupted. Mirage is a terrific thriller with tremendously thought-provoking sci-fi thrown in as well. There are a lot of unanswered questions about Vera's future at the end of Mirage. The only thing that matters is evident. By the time the movie ends, she has her daughter back. Everything else will have fallen into place. Or maybe not. Mirage could have complicated matters further by having Vera be a mother in both universes. Instead, she is only one in the firstly revealed life. 
do let us know in the comment section your take on the video and also if we have missed anything. Like the video and share the fun. It's free and will only take a moment. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Until next time.